So, uno, dos, tres. Well, hi, how are you? I'm Luis Glaze. Hey, I'm official counter for the Florida Key Hawk Watch. And we are here in Little Crew in the Middle Keys and the Florida Keys. So, we are well known for our flights of Falcons. So we have, we are the Peregrine Falcon Migration Capital of the world. And the reason why we are really strategically located is because we are just right here in the, just in front of the tunnel that makes the peninsula of Florida. So most of the birds that come from the northeast and some of the birds that are coming from the uh, Mississippi flyway, if the winds are right, all of them end in the tunnel of Florida. Eventually we are able to counter here with the most of them if the winds are right, especially when the, no, the winds are north wind winds. Um, you say that 10-10 uh, is the best time. Why, do you think, any idea why? So, not really idea why, but throughout the years we've been noticed. The project is up longer than now, it's over 25 years. So during the all 25 years, or history of the count, we know that 1010 or around the 1010 is when the peregrines pass through. And during the 1010, the highest, greatest count on the world, because we are the only place on the world that count that many peregrines passing through. We've been tally, like in 2015, the project tallied 1,506 peregrines. And just last October 10, we Tally 109 peregrines in the same day, being the four day, the five day, the highest count during the 10 10. So it's proven to be, we don't know why. Sometimes it's even better, like if we got the right winds, a storm, so the, the count could be higher. But usually we count uh, for se by season, every season we count around 200. 2,500 peregrines by season. So that's our average of, of peregrines. And the and peregrines fly right across the straits? Yes, peregrines are excellent flyers, so they don't need land as most of the beauties. The beauties need land so they can keep flying because they need thermals. And thermals are made easily on, on land. Thermals can be made, can be found on, on, on open water, but has to be really hot to birds catch thermals on the ocean. So it's, that's why uh, beauties, we see this one particular with broad wings hot, that we see this massive numbers of broad wings passing for days to south, southwest from us. And then three days later or five days later, we got this probably the 60% of them just turned back. They just feel they cannot make this jump. So, but they, peregrines, peregrines, they are excellent flying. They just can keep flying. There is a report that birds that been flying straight to um, Nicaragua, and they pass this. I know, depending on the, the bird, how they feel, I would say the wings. This bird that take the, the Caribbean, or this bird that just show down. There's another bird that can landing on Yucatan Peninsula and the spend where depend where they come from they tend to migrate as far as I know they came like Tundrius peregrine tend are the peregrine falcons that tend to breathe really northern the Arctic tundra and they tend to migrate as far as they can in South America uh -huh. nowadays is a big discussion about the population of the pureness of the peregrine falcon to the DTT in the 70s, they was reintroduced because the population was really declining. Oh. So there is a lot of discussion about if it is pure to reuse, but we still see in birds that make those big journeys over 10,000 miles a year. So it's really okay. remarkable. That's fascinating. Well, tell us about the different beautios that you see here. So we have the uh, uh, brownwing hawk, of course. We have red shouldered hawks in small numbers. We have short tail hawks being the only hawk watch that counts this amount of short tail hawks being a Florida specialty in the, in the country. Mm -hmm. So we can average of 
33 short telehawk by, by season, and at this season already we are over 50. So um, we have red tail barely make this out, but we have already won. Since we have the last one seen was in 2018, if I'm not wrong. So they don't migrate this far south. So the um, broad wings that come turn around and go back north, and then they go around land? They tend to do that, but it will be too late. So they, that's the, the birds that winter in South Florida. Oh, how interesting. So that's why probably you can hear in South Florida, you can hear the Every morning, this is we saw that the broad wings have made. They are really secretive birds, so some of them they will be not exposed in pole like red shoulders. And the other beauty that we have here is Swinson's hawk. They don't come by big numbers, but we are the only hawk watching the east that got the good numbers of Swinson's hawk. We probably got 66 on average. This season we have not yet seen one yet, but it's still early. So, and we have, those are the beauties. How about we are hoping Harriers? Harriers, we just got them. Northern Harriers, Harriers just are good flyers, flyers so they can fly over ocean without no problem. And Ospreys, same thing, Ospreys are really good flyers. They can fly by day, over days, over ocean, so. And back to the videos, so a few months ago, I spotted probably in Isla Murara, a few, like 20 miles north from here, a, a Suntel hog. So we are hoping to add that beauty to our, our big list of- Zone tail, wow. Big list of, of raptors migrating. That's way out of range, isn't it? So we are, another thing that makes the Florida kids so special, we are the most diversity hog watch in the country. So we have kites, we have falcons. So we are the only hog watch that have been they have the snail kite passing through the platforms. And it's the really swallowtail kite. Oh, and tell us about going earlier this year. Oh, so this year we start early in the hog watch. Do, we know that it's well known that the, the swallowtail kites start migrating early in the season at mid, sub, mid July. July. So different organizations make the effort to, to get start cutting a month early. And we came with Mariah. So we start counting the solo tail kites and we thought, we usually got around 100 every season. The maximum was 250 seeds in 2014. But this year, since we start early, we was able to tally 1,619 solo tail kites. So it proved that was a successfully. That they season do come early. right down through yeah, here on yes, their way. We, big numbers, we have cattle, so over 160 birds together, so it was neat to see those birds, pretty awesome. Okay, well I shouldn't take you away from watching, this is October, is the height of it, so I'll let you go. Thank you so Thank much you. for the info. <laughs> ah.